Here's your Farm and Ranch Report from the Montana Ag Network. Hi everybody, it's time for your Farm and Ranch News. Well, this week, U.S. Senators John Tester of Montana, along with Deb Fisher out in Nebraska, Iowa's Chuck Grassley, and Oregon's Ron Wyden announced a compromise cattle market proposal known as the Cattle Price Discovery and Transparency Act. Now, the senators say they plan to introduce the legislation in the coming days. In the meantime, among other things, the act would establish regional mandatory minimal thresholds of negotiated cash and negotiated grid trades based on each region's 18-month average trade to enable price discovery in cattle marketing regions. And it would also require more timely reporting of cattle carcass weights as well as requiring a packer to report the number of cattle scheduled to be delivered for slaughter each day for the next 14 days. In some other news today, you know, as the sugar beet harvest begins to wrap up for the year, growers have certainly dealt with some hot, dry conditions throughout our region, but at least irrigation water was sufficient for the needs of this year's crop. In fact, Western Sugar's Vice President of Agriculture for the Northern Region, Randall Jobman, recently told AgWig that it was a solid and average crop this year. In Montana, yields were 31 and a half tons and 18.2 percent sugar, while in Wyoming, this year's yields came in at about 26.2 tons per acre and 18.5 percent sugar. Now the company hopes to wrap up processing in March. Of course, the last several years have had lots and lots of harvest challenges, but this year's harvest weather was one of the best in years. Stay with us. We'll be back with more Ag News right after this.